What is going on YouTube, it's Sankey, we're back with another one. Alright guys, so we've all been hit by another red day in the market, partly caused by increasing bond yields, which is causing that volatility in the market. If you have a look, as you can see, it's a sea of red at the moment. So if your portfolios are down, I wouldn't worry. When I see these market-wide sell-offs, but I know the players in the portfolio are still hitting their business objectives, I told you, just use this as an opportunity to pick up those plays on the cheap, dollar cost average down on some of your existing plays, but also to reconfigure your portfolio, get some balance in there, so you're able to better weather the next correction in the market. And if you have a look up on screen, we've got Bluejet. This is a play that I put on your radar when the correction just began. I said, grab this stock, because when you have this in your portfolio, you're going to get that balance. Next time you face headwinds in the market, these are the kind of plays that are going to save you. So as you can see, up on the day, over 3%. And another one I gave you guys is Bank of America. That's ticker symbol BAC, up almost 2.5% on the day. This is good performance considering the general market was down today. So if you haven't already done so, it's not too late to add these to the portfolio. Now in this video, I'm coming at you with a couple of plays that I think are going to double up by the end of the year. This is either because they've been beaten down by the market or because they're hitting their business objectives and they got some good momentum. So before I get into it, I'm gonna need you guys to hit that like button for me. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button during the journey. Without further ado, let's jump into our first one. Up on screen, we've got KLR. Now this is a cloud communications play. You guys know within the portfolio, we cover all bases from gaming to gambling to EV to clean energy. Now cloud is just another mega trend for us to take full advantage of in the portfolio. KLR, their services cover SMS, voice calls, chatbots, and they're no small fry within the industry. They've got over 3,000 customers that do billions and billions of texts and calls each year. Now you've probably never heard of KLR, but you guys know I'm always delivering the gems to the family that you're not gonna find elsewhere over on YouTube. Now if we quickly touch on their financials, Q4 earnings came in at around 45 million in revenue. This is just under 30% year on year growth. Now I expect them long term to grow year on year at least 30%. You guys know we're always looking for those plays that hit that 30% growth rate. This is because as they continually grow, it's gonna translate into higher revenues and that's gonna translate into a higher share price. You guys know we want those high growth plays in our portfolio so we can generate high growth returns. Now they recently went out and acquired a company called Mgage and they're a mobile messaging platform. There's a couple of things you guys need to know about this transaction. They paid over 200 million for Mgage and KLR's market cap standalone was around half a billion. So this is what I call a transformative transaction. They've acquired a beast in the mobile messaging world. It's gonna give them access to new markets, new customers, and give them more market share in the industry. Now the combined revenues of these two companies is looking at over 300 million. This is almost double what KLR were gonna do this year. So this makes this an undervalued play. You guys know we like those undervalued plays because not only do you get that share price uplift from them growing their business, but also from investors pricing it up as they realize it's undervalued. So if we look at the charts, you can see this play's been growing consistently over the month and over the last three months. And as we go forward, I expect much of the same as they roll out their platform and integrate Mgage into their business. End of year price target on KLR, that's $40. This play not only offers you the opportunity to diversify your portfolio into cloud, but also gives you exposure to another high growth play that's undervalued. Up on screen, that's Hims and Hers, ticker symbol HIMS. This is a medical focus play. We know they have their telehealth platform, their digital pharmacy, and they focus on the millennials. That is their USP, their unique selling point, which sets them apart from the other players in the market. The other players in the market, they go for a more capture all business model. Now, if we look at the stock, you can see over the month, they've opened up a very good entry point. If you don't already have a position in this one, you're looking to dollar cost average down. Now, if you compare them to the other players in the market, like a Teladoc, they're beginning to look very undervalued. The more undervalued they start to look, it's only a matter of time before the investors reprice them up. Now, as I mentioned to you guys, Hims, they're coming out with their earnings on the 18th of March, and I'm expecting good things. This should be the catalyst that pushes that stock price up. I'm expecting good Q4 and 2020 numbers, as well as good guidance for 2021. Now, what you guys must know is that this is a high margin business. Gross margin expected at around 70%. Now it's earnings season right now, we've seen a lot of plays come out and deliver good revenue numbers, but they missed their profitability guidance because their margins weren't up to scratch. And you've seen the investors have been harsh on them in the short term, sold out of their positions, you saw that stock come down. Now HIMS, they've got a good margin, so I'm expecting good profitability levels from them. 
Now, it's always important to look at what these players have got in the pipeline because this is what's going to give them the fuel to continue growing. With HIMS, I expect them to continually rolling out their healthcare platform and looking at other treatments such as sleep disorders and others. Now, we also know they're in the process of building a 300,000 square foot distribution center as they scale up their business. Now, good earnings, that can take that stock into the $20 range. So if you haven't already added this one to the portfolio, grab some stock, load up. Up on screen, that's Argo Blockchain, ticker symbol ARB. This is one of our Bitcoin mining plays that's listed in the UK. Now, news has dropped today that they've come out with their earnings, so I want to share them with you guys. For the month of February, revenues clocked in at around £4 million. This is around 75% over January's number, so you know their top line revenue is flying right now. Also, their margins are improving. They've gone from around 70% margin to 80%. You guys know I say we're always looking for those plays where the revenue is growing, and they're becoming more profitable. If you can find that combination, you've got a beast of a play on your hands. Now with Argo, we have to remember they've got more going on than just their UK mining operations. They're looking to build out a mining facility in Texas that allows their business to scale and expand, take it to the next level. They've also invested around one million pounds for a 25% stake in a crypto venture capital firm called Pluto Digital, which allows them to diversify what they do within the crypto arena. And I think Argo is just getting started. I think we're gonna see a lot more initiatives, a lot more plans as we progress for the year. And all of this is just gonna add value to their business. Now, as I say, of all crypto plays, the way to buy into them is to catch them on the red days. You never wanna jump into these crypto plays as they're running up. Wait for that call off, then jump in, load up on the play. Next up, that's Alpine 4. Now, this play's been receiving a smackdown from the market. As you can see, down on the week, over 20%. But this just opens up a good entry point to load up on this one before the next run up in that stock price. Now news has dropped today, they've let us know they're still progressing with the uplisting to the NASDAQ. And you guys know the benefits of uplisting, it will help their liquidity, which should help that stock price increase. Also gives them access to better finance and options, which they can use to scale and fund their business. Now other catalysts include acquisitions they make. We know they make around two a year, so we should be expecting an announcement soon. And also we know Quality Circuit Assembly, their platform business is flying right now. So any updates on that should help push that stock higher. Now let's talk rules of engagement on this one. Strike price set at $4.50. Catch them on the $4.50, we load up on this play. Remember guys, the best time to buy these plays is on the red days. All right, so if you're rocking with the channel, you know what time it is. Now this question comes from one of my patrons says, just joined today, I'm a new investor with relatively low capital at the minute. What strategy would you recommend as a new investor? penny stocks to try and gain larger margins to then invest into growth stocks. So this is a great question, so thank you for sending it in. Now you mentioned you're a new investor, it's always good to have new investors jumping into the market. I look forward to seeing your journey as we progress through. Now, what I must say is now's the best time to jump into the market. I'm almost envious of you because there's a lot of plays out there that are on the cheap, that are undervalued. You go scoop them up, put them in your portfolio. It's only a matter of time before they rebound and you're gonna hit good returns. Now let's talk about how you can construct your portfolio with limited funds. Now I know a lot of you might not be working with a lot of funds for your portfolio, but don't let this stop you. Because what you guys must realize is you don't need $10,000 or $100,000 to build out a well diversified portfolio that's gonna start building you guys wealth from day one. Because what you must realize is those portfolios that are $10,000, $100,000 that are diversified, you can replicate them even if you have $1,000 or $500 to spend on your portfolio. All you have to do is you have to make the most of fractional shares. This is a tool that's available to you guys through the apps. For example, a $10,000 portfolio might have 10 shares of Square in it. What you can do is you can go and grab yourself 10% of a share, 25% of the Square share and put that in the portfolio. Grab yourself 25% of another share and put that in the portfolio. So use these fractional shares to your advantage. They're there for the taking. And by using them, you can build out a diversified portfolio that's limited risk, high growth, and it's gonna build you guys wealth. And you guys remember, within the blueprint, I said invest consistently. So what you wanna be doing is continually add into the portfolio. So if you've got 25% of a share of Squared, for example, the next time you come to add to your portfolio, you might increase that to 50%, then 75%, then till you've got a full share. And you're just gonna continually do that on an ongoing basis. That's how you guys crush the markets with a well-diversified portfolio. Let's talk about the penny stocks as well, because you mentioned that. I would have at maximum 20% of your portfolio in these penny stock plays. I'd even go as far as saying 10% of your portfolio. You want the majority of your portfolio in the growth plays. That's where it's at. 
these penny stocks, they can be risky, they can be volatile. And as we've also seen recently, the brokers getting involved, putting in buy restrictions. That's an, another added layer of risk with these penny stock plays. We look at them as a way to blow off some steam, have some fun in the stock market, but also look for those plays that graduate to long-term plays. So do bear that in mind. Keep the majority of your funds in your growth plays. You're going to hit success. All right, guys, that wraps things up. Do hit the like button for me. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, hit the subscribe button, join the journey. Also, check out a link down below to the Patreon where you can get access to our Discord, join our team of investors over there and enter some additional plays with us. As I always say, check into the channel each and every day. Stock market's wrapping and moving. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.